takes a village. We have, um, we have wine and beer and water. I've been to uh, three lots of Highland Games. I went to Charleston first, that was a one day job. Then the Stone Mountain Games, which is two. John keeps telling me it's two and a half, three. <laughs> and now I come to this one, it's a three day job. So I feel I'm actually working my way through a process, and I'm wondering which one's the four day. And Frank is not here, but he's the one to blame because he's the one that actually started the whole thing off in 2014, so it's okay. 10 years ago, this was hatched to, uh, to happen. Uh, unfortunately, we had to wait our turn, I guess, for you guys to be the honoured clan. Then COVID hit, and then the next year that after that, I could have come, but COVID wouldn't have let us back into the country, so you could have had the games, but I couldn't get back to Australia. So <laughs> Nothing against you guys. That's the way, that's the, way the rule was. So, but here now, and uh, thank you very much for your introduction. I look forward to meeting all personally over the period of these three days. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. from Tasmania, all the way from Australia. Chief of the McLeods of Rasse, please welcome John McLeod of Rasse. Please stop by and visit these fine folks this weekend. We sincerely appreciate all their effort. I know that John traveled 34 hours to be with us at Grandfather Mountain. Long ago, when the tallest oaks were not yet an acorn, there were times of danger in the land that was called Scotland. It was also necessary for the clans to gather quickly at some appointed place, ready to display and, if necessary, use their collective strength. 
in order to gather the clans, it was necessary to use a sign that would be recognized and obeyed. One such sign was a fiery saltire. A small saltire was fashioned of wood and the tip lighted. The end was dipped in the blood of a slaughtered animal. The message to gather was clear and unmistakable. By fire and sword, we use this ancient method of summons in a less warlike way as we watch the path of the torch down the hillside. Reflect on a time when a burning saltire or torch represented a summons which could not be denied. Think how you will answer. The torch of fire is on the moon. the Outer Hebrides, the Inner Hebrides, and mainland Scotland, and Tasmania. The McLeods are here. tonight to dedicate ourselves once again to those Scottish ancestors who came before us, who paved the way with their love of Scotland from the highlands to the borders to the islands, with their love of the traditions and clan heritage that bind us together as family and friends with a common interest and love. Tonight, we celebrate this long and rich heritage by coming together in a celebration of the land of our ancestors, with clan families represented from across this country and from around the world, joining as one Scottish family of God's people to prepare for a festival that has been celebrated on this meadow under this majestic mountain for 68 years. Lord, 
thank you for bringing us safely together to be part of this celebration of our roots in Scotland and guide us through the weekend with a renewed sense of your purpose and the renewal of our spirit provided by the rich sense of community, love and purpose found in the soul of the Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. In God's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Gentlemen, welcome everyone to the 68th Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. Entering the meadow for the games, we are honored to welcome our chieftain of the games, John McLeod, 18th chief of the McLeods of Rasse. And this year, our chieftain of the games from the great and powerful clan McLeod, he is the 18th chief of the McLeods of Rasse Welcome from Tasmania, John McLeod of Rasset. Thank you very much, Steve, for those words. And uh, I can only say that I'm uh, most impressed with everything that's taken place so far. This is only day one. What's, what's more to look forward to? Distinguished guests, Grandfather Mountain Highland Games, community organisation, sponsors, volunteers, of which there are numerous of course, competitors and judges, fans, folk, visitors, and everybody else that may have used our apologies. I am honoured to be asked to open these, the 68th annual Grandfather Mountain Highland Games. As I walked around this morning, many of the clan tents, people at the tents said, it's an honour to have you here. Well, I can assure you, the honour is all mine. And I'm truly grateful to the Organising Commission of the, organized, uh, of the Games, the Clan McLeod Society of the Carolinas for inviting me and supporting me for being here. I can assure you there's no mean feat to get here from Tasmania, the southern island off the mainland of Australia, with about 38 hours travel time to get here. But uh, from what I've seen so far, is being worth every minute of it. And last night's calling of the clans was just a wonderful start. I'm also very proud to be a McLeod, being here representing Clan McLeod. Last year, the clan had its four yearly annual, annual parliament on the Isle of Skye. This event attracted about 300 delegates from all over the world, including France, Germany, England, Scotland, Switzerland, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Poland, and by no means least, the United States of America. This reflects the spread of the di Scottish diaspora, consisting of Scottish people who emigrated from Scotland and their descendants. I, I attended an exhibition recently celebrating the extraordinary contribution the Scots have made to the cultural and political life within Australia. 
These included pastoralists, preachers, teachers and doctors, explorers, scientists, architects and engineers. There's practically no aspect of settlement and development of Australia that the Scots did not play a substantial part. There is no doubt they have made a similar contribution to the settlement and development of other countries and regions such as this. But with this contribution to the settlement came with their influence on the diversity of culture. And what we're enjoying here at these games is a celebration of those cultures. At these games, we will see, hear, feel a sense of part of that ongoing contribution in the games and the music and dance. I implore everybody to get into the spirit of the games and all that it has to offer. Cheering the competitors, visiting the clan tents, the cultural village, the Gaelic tent, the entertainment, tasting of the food, just soaking up the atmosphere. To those of competition, may your eye be keen, your arm be strong, and your music and dance be precise. And most importantly, have fun. I now declare the 68th Annual Grandfather Mountain Highland Games open. Thank you. could just have a very intimate conversation with the people along the way. It was so popular, we've decided to do it again. So... Sheep do constantly think that, don't you? Constantly. <laughs> they do. They constantly, they graze, so... Yeah. They're very comfortable. They're confident that Jake is not going to do anything harmful. But they do <laughs> like snacks. So if they hear a chip bag or they are going to be all over it. <laughs> oh, wait. Lie down.
with a throw of 67-7, Madison Weinart, and the winner, once again, Adrian Wilson at 73 feet, 10 inches.
Ryan Monroe. Well, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And Sizemore coming in at 16 feet. Men's triple jump. This trophy given by Kirkpatrick Clan of Finbrook. Memory of Serena Kirkpatrick Fitz Randolph. Third place, Blaine Nick. to start off. Before I start, I've written some notes here. I've got seven pages, but cash scores, yeah, you said I'm gonna walk for, talk for 45 minutes, well, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna talk really quickly, so I'll get it all over and done with. But first up, I can't, I can't help but thank everybody for their support while uh, throughout the whole of the games. I mean, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Not just the people in this room, I mean, you're particularly great. <laughs> but wandering around the tents, you know, and I think all of us have found that, that the, the harmony that is actually amongst the clans is fantastic. Turn the clock back a bit, of course, that didn't happen. But, um, <laughs> so, but the, today, I, well, the last couple of days, it's been absolutely wonderful to actually get around and talk to people. <laughs> Oops. 
and Kitten Carden and Ginger Garner. This is the clan of Robert DeBoose. Another clan that is always welcome here at Grandfather Mountain. No matter how you say it, Buchanan, Buchanan, Clan Buchanan is here. Yeah, they come in droves. 
the cat without a glove. And part of that group is our in strength and power. Clay! Clan McLevin! And how about Clan McNabb? Welcome! Making the lap. The McQueens are constant and faithful. And their motto, watch. Clan Napier is here. So good to have Clan Napier. Yeah. 